Zenza Bronica S2A. Nikor PC 75 millimeter 2.8 Nikon lens. This camera was uh, a very special. You know, I've already got fingerprints. This camera is very special to me because I, it's Patrick Hollins, Mr. Patrick Hollins, sent me. Uh, some magazines along with some donations and that that had this in the advertisement and i really you know i heard and seen a few a few uh things about them but i never really paid too much attention i you know had hasselblad and, but when i noticed what what is this camera so then i first started uh studying it i got a tripod a long time I first uh, started studying this camera and then realized, oh my gosh, this is a way better system than uh, than a Hasselblad, definitely of the time, and uh, the the range of lens options was right in my alley with uh, Nikkor when uh, be before Nikkor stopped making lenses for them. And they made their own lenses. They uh, could adapt all the way up to the 1200 millimeter Nikkor lens from back then, which would also fit my Nikon F. So the long lenses from 400 to 1200 that very, some are very hard to find, very expensive, can be adapted with a with a, just a focus tube. Or a helicoid for this camera so I'm just so excited about that the, the more studying I did and the, the fact that Nikkor made the lenses it, it, it just kept intriguing me more and more so over over a year year maybe almost two years I've just been really really studying these cameras and watching the videos and stuff and so I decided I'm at 62 years old now, and I have uh, something that we call Canada Pension Plan, CPP. So uh, at 62, I, I always had the decision that I was going to start collecting my CPP. And so this camera was purchased for a celebration of me entering that part of my life just recently. To collect my CPP soon, soon you know. And at 65 here, we also get an old age pension, so uh, I'm only three years away from that. But the, this is the reason why I picked up this camera, and another reason being, it had a 1,000 shutter speed. It uh, the many many lenses you can get for it. The fact that uh, I love the Mamiya system with all its lenses. But you can't mount graduated filters and stuff on the on that uh, on the TLR system simply because you're uh, taking lenses different from your viewing lens. So here we go, Bronica S2A. If you're going to be buying one of these, make sure you look at the serial numbers because the S2As started with a one five one. And, uh, you know, there is a few other features if you look around at some of the uh, the videos, they'll tell you. But a lot of sellers are trying to sell S2As that don't have the S2A series serial number. And some of the S2As, the original ones, had S2A after or before. But, you know, I don't want to get too deep into that. Make sure you get the dark slide that belongs to your back. Because you can't remove your black. Your back does not remove on these without the dark slide. Right? So a lot of features on this camera. You can't cock and fire the shutter unless, unless your dark slide, uh, your, your, you know, your back is off if you don't have film in it. So, uh, you know, the, the camera is not going to give you the sound, but 
you definitely know you fired this camera when you shoot this camera. So uh, other features I liked about this camera, the 645 back, you can get a 645 back for it, they're getting rare. The, uh, you, you can load the film in it without removing the back. A very easy loading system as we will see in a few minutes here so uh, you know I just want to be gentle with everything I don't want to be forcing stuff and this camera is like new condition the uh, you know it, I got a hood hood with it but the, the hood came with a blue filter the blue blue you know, that's where you put your reminder so uh, the, the the lenses have some of the lenses have their own helicoid these have uh, a double helicoid type system because this helicoid will take other lenses so so really your lens is really light there, there's one or two lenses that have a shutter mechanism in the lens a leaf shutter mechanism but this isn't one of them and then you change your helicoids just like so so there you have it that's done now this mirror system it doesn't flip up it actually slides down with a dark cover that goes over it so your shutter works so you don't have the mirror flap it just slides down into this chamber like forward and down and then back up and uh, that's quite unique the uh, So you line up the red dots here. There we go on that one. And you can take this helicoid off with the lens mounted or with the lens not mounted. The lens is very clean, very clean lens. And uh, we'll line up another red dot here on this one. And you click, and there we go. So uh, very getting very hard to find. Uh, in really good shape I got this one for a very good deal from uh, from Japan and uh, got all kinds of guarantees with it we can put uh, 620 film in this so you can have 24 exposures you can get 620 film from certain people that are, are reloading them so uh, there we go the uh, shutter speed up to 1000 X is 1 over 40 uh, if you want to have faster uh, sync speed you can get a uh, a Ni nikon made uh, shutter uh, built-in leaf shutter lens that can go up to 500 like the mamiya flex but you still have to shoot it at 140 you know to, to get that speed in sync the uh you know up to 1000 down to one one second and B, all of the, all, they're all, everything's firing as it should. The, uh, the dark slide. Now here's one thing that, uh, there's no holder for a dark side on this. Here's one thing that's sort of a, a I wonder, I wonder why. The, the uh, once I have film in this and, and I'm not going to take the back off. I'm going to I'm going to keep this dark slide in a pocket on my uh, on my uh, in my camera bag simply because I always see people and it troubles me why they do this they're constantly pulling that dark slide out and pushing it in pulling it out every shot they take and sooner or later especially on the Hasselblad the one that I use light leaks like crazy coming through there because it's just you know the constant taking it out and putting it back in if if i don't want to remove the back i only have one back and and uh you obviously can load and unload film through without taking it off i have no reason to keep that dark slide in there's uh so uh when you see me using this in a POV someday, I don't know, winter's coming, I doubt if I'm going to be out in minus 30 using this and doing POVs. 
But uh, when you see me using this, you will not see me constantly sliding that dark slide in and out. This is a, I'm not removing the back. So there's no, uh, there's no real reason that I can see. You know, you know you have film in there. If you don't want it to fire, you just turn this and, you know, no accidental fire. The, uh, that's where you put your shutter release. This is where you wind. So, yeah, be very careful when you're buying one of these that you're actually getting an S2A. Boy, I ran into a lot where they were just the S2s. And the S2s had some brass gearing in that that after a while wore out and things didn't work right. So, uh, these, these were updated gearing. All right, <laughs> let's go take some shots. Here, you know what? Let's load, let's load today's film in here. So here we go. You know, I wouldn't do this. Uh, this would be in the bag if I was doing this out in the, out comes the cartridge. Right. And then we'll take the, the reel, the spare reel as, as per, per usual. And get in the proper slot here. There we go. And the film we will be using today. Sorry about this. My, my studio isn't set up, so I'm, I'm close to the window. You're going to see that this isn't a, a decorating fashion show. So, uh, although I am a certified... <laughs> I, I'm certified interior decorator. You wouldn't know it by looking at some of my stuff, but I, I, I no longer do anything like that. But. So, Delta, Ilford Delta 400. I've uh, been trying this Ilford Delta 400 because I'm not a big fan of HP5. And I know I need a 400 film beside my Pan F50. So, uh... That's why you're seeing Delta 400 show up here today. Because it's, it's a constant search. Okay, so now the film, the black, see? See, there's the film pressure plate. Your black has to show out. And I'm sure there's, a, there's tons of videos on that. Tons of videos showing this is actually there we go that's how easy it's very easy actually it's like this is only see those there's red dots here on the on each side I'm gonna make sure that this is in place line up the lines Bring this a little closer. And there you go. That's it. Now, put your uh, reminder. We'll put, we'll do, we'll, we'll go through all the steps here. I'm usually not a big, huge. But there are times when I get stuck not knowing what film is in what. So you're gonna see me fumble a bit because this is all new to me. There we go, film reminder. Now you can wind it like this, right? Or you can use the crank. All right, now here we hit a really hard part. So we got to go through that. This is the first, the scary at first. There it is. So it's set on the first. It's ready to fire. But this is the unique thing about this camera. So I obviously will not be going out for a few hours or any length of time. I don't want to leave this camera sprung. You know, because that's where your shutter speeds start to go wrong. You know, you don't leave your camera shutter cocked. So on this camera, with the dark slide in, you can't remove this back unless 
You push this in, remove the back, fire it off. Now, all the memory and everything on what photo you were on, what frame you were on, is in the back. So, now that this has been shot and I wind it, it will not advance the film. That's an awesome feature. So I can leave this, I can have four different backs with partially ro shot rolls and the camera will, it will know every, every, every shutter count will stay intact. So you, you're not guessing, oh, I might, you know, so it's a, uh, you know, it's a lot of, that's a very big thing for me because you, I, I do not like to leave my shutter sprung. There's a, that's a no-no. That's a definite no-no. So I'll show you, uh, this is the top, the, the viewfinder. The viewfinders are very nice. I, some people complain that they're not that bright. But mine seems to be okay. This is the problem I have. I'm used to the, the uh, Mamiya Flex, so I'm trying to grab these knobs instead of this for focusing. But this is, uh, there we go. It's hard to, I'm not really set up here, but I need to show you this. So, uh, yeah, there it is. And you know, then you tap this and out comes your magnifying glass, right? Very nice, very robust. It, it feels more solid and, and, and robust and if not equal to better than the Hasselblad I shot. I am, I am so impressed by this camera so far. I did go out and do a test shoot, but there was no sun and it was just to make sure that there was no light leaks in that. So uh, there you go. I don't know why people compare these and call them the poor man's Hasselblad because these systems were actually better than the Hasselblads in many ways. They also were the number one wedding system back in the day. This one is probably about a 1974 or something like that. The, uh, they started the S2As in 69 and it's a 1, 6, one six, uh, six number. So, you know, it could be a 71 or a 72. It's, it's, it looks like it was just a demo really because it really doesn't look like it's really been used but uh this was my choice over to Hasselblad because uh, Hasselblad's the, the one that I used had light leaks the one that I borrowed it was nice and it gave you that ooh I'm shooting a Hasselblad feeling but uh this this right here is definitely for the shooter a way better system with way better options for lenses. There you go. I'm going to go out and uh, take some shots with this. I know this wasn't a fully uh, packed in-depth review, but there, there's, there's a lot, right? There's a lot. The quality of this camera is just amazing. Like, like the holy smokes. And when you shoot it, you're going to hear the tree fall in the forest. <laughs> so you're not going to be sneaking around with it, that's for sure. All right. Okay, so if I get images, here they are. Like, subscribe, click the bell. Thank you very much for uh, being patient with me. I've had lots going on. Here we go. Take it easy, everybody. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, are you, are you kidding me? Oh, I'm so excited. Pocahontas got me staring, got me wearing strange stuff. You think I'm loco? It's just a poncho. Heads are turning one by one. What have you done? Matawaka got me yearning. A bonfire trance got me drunk.